हाई फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ आशीष करगो को फाउंडर एट दोलेरा ग्रुप वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल टॉक अबाउट सोलार प्लांट वी एवरी वन आर अवेयर दैट टाटा इंडस्ट्रीज आर सेटिंग अप देर सोलार प्लांट इन दोलेरा एस आई आर बट वेरी फ्यू ऑफ अस हैव नॉलेज दैट हाउ सोलार प्लांट परफॉर्म्स एंड विद दिस एनिमेटेड वीडियो थ्री थिंग्स वी विल चेक नंबर वन हाउ डज दिस सोलार प्लांट फंक्शन नंबर टू वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द एनवीरमेंट नंबर थ्री Why does this solar plant is very important for Dolera SIR? And the most important thing at the end of the video, I'll tell you why and how this project is very important for the Tata Industries. And I'll also tell you what Tata will do with this project. What is the role of government? So watch this video right till the end. Every city depends on electricity. Every city runs on electricity by burning fossil fuels like coal. diesel and natural gas with these materials we are able to generate electricity from steam turbines but have you ever thought what will happen when we run out of these limited resources without fuel there will be no enough electricity to power central sam there will be blackout hospitals will shut down streets will be dark and dangerous electronic communication will be disabled businesses will be paralyzed and children won't get the equality of education they deserve things would become rotten affecting our lives and slowing the progress of growing cities but hope shines above us the infinite power of the sun so how are we going to harness this power these are solar cells they can convert light energy into electricity each cell contains two pieces of silicon one is negatively charged and the other is positive when life particles collide with the negatively charged silicon electrons falls and get attracted to positively charged silicon as electrons travel from silicon they create a current which we call dc direct current this is the type of electricity found in batteries a number of solar cells connected to each other and mounted in a frame is called a motion Each module is designed to generate about 30 volts or more direct current. Like this, large amount of electricity modules are grouped together to form an array and these are scattered throughout an open field to capture as much as solar power as possible. But this electricity is not ready for public use. It still needs to be converted to match the type of electricity needed by home appliances. That's why solar power plants have inverters and transformers. The inverter connects the single current direction of direct electricity to multiple directions of alternating current. The electricity then flows to the transformer and boosts it to 1,800 volts or more. By this, we minimize the loss of power. When electricity is transmitted to far distance transformers the electricity flows to a substation this regulates electricity to usable 220 volts or more using another transformer and distributes power your homes this is how the solar plant works generates about 10 megawatts or more of electricity that can power your house or city unlike fossil fuel plant which can be depleted and produce carbon emission that harm the environment This solar plant runs on a 100% renewable energy from the sun which is clean and its efficient energy is helping us to save from power prices. Solar plant generates electricity from the free light of the sun and lessens the cause of global warming that destroys the planet. This is the future to have a better community that is safe, powered and progressive. So guys hope you have understood how does this solar project performs coming to the point what tata will do with this project tata will generate all the renewable energy and supply to gujarat urja nigam vikas limited this is a contract between this government and tata for the 25 years and it is also expected that tata will gather 3936 megawatt of energy and pass it on to government So I hope uh, you liked my video